Hey everybody, Rainer here, and uh, let's have a look at some of the key features in AutoCAD 2016. Okay, so here we have AutoCAD 2016, and as you can see, there not much has changed. Uh, a few new little icons, they've moved things around a little bit, but um, the first thing to pick up on is the Start tab on the top left there. You can see that's always up. You cannot close that like you can with your drawings. So while you are in a view, you can just type in Go to Start, and it would take you back to the Start. You can also go and right click on any one of your drawings that you've got open up and you can also close all of your opened drawings very quickly. Okay, next up we have two new methods of replying uh, revision clouds. Uh, so you can find that in the drop down arrow there. Uh, you'll notice that you've got those two tools. Remember these little flyouts, you can pin them if you wanted to. Also, if you are working with these tools a lot, just right click on them and add them to the quick access toolbar. It'll just send it up to the top over there. The first one is the rectangular option, which means you just click and just drag your mouse out. The second one is polygonal, which means you can just sort of click a few times and pressing enter to finish off. And the last one is the one that we had in 2015. It's just the freehand tool, which means you just move your cursor around and when it finishes it just closes automatically. You'll notice the two new options do not have all of these little blue grips and vertices uh, so they're a little bit easier to control afterwards. Okay next up is the new power dimensioning tool which you'll find in the annotate tab and dimension panel. If you click on this you'll notice that when you actually hover on an edge it starts picking up that edge so it shows you a little preview. You can still snap, I can still click and click and also apply but loading this command you'll notice it starts picking up either radii or diameter uh, or even angular dimensions so you can either click on or snap on the edges or just apply you'll also notice that it sometimes gives you diameter instead of radius so you still have your options at the bottom which you can just click on to select and you'll also notice that after you've applied these dimensions you can also go and change the text box around the text on the dimension and finally you can also change the dimension layer while you're applying the dimension. Okay, the new features with multi-line text in AutoCAD 2016 is you can select your text box, you can then go and place a frame around it by going to the properties palette on the left. You can then also go and change the formatting of some of the text and you'll now notice the match tool over there is sticky which means it just keeps on formatting the text. Okay, next up we have the new geometric center snap. That's at the snap settings at the bottom, you can find it in there, or when you hold down shift and you right click on the mouse, you'll also find it in there. So if I want to go and move this text into the center of this pentagon, I can just double click, and I'm just gonna go and change the justification to middle center, that allows me to move the base point of the text to the middle. Currently I wanna to snap to the center there, so again I'll just hold down shift, right click, go for geometric center, and I can just snap to the center of the polygon. Next we have the property preview performance that's been updated in AutoCAD 2016 which means if I select a large amount of objects and I move it all um, in the older releases it will regenerate constantly now it only regenerates once and I can move it to wherever. This will definitely speed things up. You'll also notice the command preview has been extended to include stretch and blend so if I want to go and stretch an object the original or the source object is not blue anymore it's grey makes it a little bit easier to work with and when I do blend an object you'll also now notice that the entire object is highlighted in blue. The selection effect color can be changed if you go to your options and you go to the selection tab you can go and change the color in there. Okay and tying in with the graphics enhancements we also now have a automatic regen so it does not lock when you zoom in and out um, and you can also see that my arcs my curves will show in true form you don't see those straight lines that you have to regenerate anymore. In 2016 we also have the live isoplane updates so as I draw in these views you can see the live updates as I'm changing the grid. Uh, PDF support has also been significantly enhanced uh, in 2016. Uh, true type fonts or any text with formatting options in the multi-line text box uh, is now searchable in your PDF output files. So yeah, you can see I've used the AutoCAD SHX text type um, and I can go and search those text boxes. If I just type in tips, for instance, it will just run and search for the word. And also these ones are editable. 
You can also see these two new little icons in the output tab. If I just click on the uh, DWF option, you can see the few options, settings to change in there. The same with the PDF, you've got your vector quality, your raster image quality, and also notice you can include your hyperlinks into your PDFs as well now. So if I just quickly flick over to my PDFs, I've stuck a hyperlink on there in AutoCAD, so if I just click on that, it will take me to that web page. You'll also notice that when you want to print to PDF, you get these four new options uh, for a quicker PDF output. Also, when you do pick one of these, you can go and change your PDF options in there. Reality computing or working with your point clouds, in other words, uh, are easier to work with now. You can also add section planes to these. So when you select your point cloud, you have this new panel, which you can apply a section plane to that. You can also extract section lines where this model has been sliced. Just go and run the command, select the point cloud, change a few settings. If I click on create, it's going to run a little progress bar on the bottom right hand side. As soon as that is finished, um, I've already done this, so I'm just going to go and hide the point cloud. And you're left with 2D polylines. Sometimes it's difficult to see the geometry that you've created uh, when snapping to a point cloud or tracing over it. So you can now select your point cloud and you can also go and change the transparency of that. Okay, we also have the new point cloud snaps, which means if you go to your snap settings, you will find them um, over there. Uh, you can tick those on, it will pick up on those point clouds. And also your dynamic UCS will work on a point cloud now if it recognizes the face. I'm just going to demonstrate it on this box, but as I want to draw, you can see the cursor will change. And this effect will also happen on your point clouds in 2016. And finally, you can apply various crops to your point cloud, and you can also save these as crop states. Okay, next up we're going to look at the brand new rendering engine in AutoCAD 2016. It's going to have less controls, it's going to give you quicker renders. You'll also notice with the preset lists, we also now have a coffee break quality, which is just for 10 minutes. You have your 60 minute one and also an overnight quality. If we look at the rendering manager on the left hand side there, you'll also notice that you can render by level. Uh, you can also render by time, so if you only have two hours to render something, it'll give you the best quality of render in there for you. You'll also notice the preset render sizes, so there's a few more in there, and also your various quality. Okay, you'll also notice that Autodesk has added the Render Environment and Exposure Palette, which is brand new to 2016, where you can go and add image-based lighting images uh, around your model. Also with these models, you can go and adjust the exposure of them and also the white balance. You can zoom in and out while you are rendering. You can see the rendering history on the bottom there, and you can also right click and then save these snapshots, or you can also plot them at the top. AutoCAD 2016 now supports BIM coordination or Navisworks models as well. Uh, these can be NWD or NWC files. You can just go and click on Attach Coordination Model. Uh, you can also select these afterwards and then change the color fading or the opacity fading. Also, the BIM 360 add-in is enhanced so that you can attach a single or merged models from BIM 360 Glue to AutoCAD drawings. Uh, if a model from BIM 360 Glue is attached to a DWG, you can save the drawing and when the drawing is reopened, the latest version of the attached model is automatically loaded. And then finally, they've added the new System Variable Monitor command, which we'll see at the bottom. And if I load that, it enables you to just change your system variables. You can also go and edit the list and maybe add a few more in which you can control in the dialog box. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of our quick little video on the key features of AutoCAD 2016. So there are more features. If you want to know more about AutoCAD 2016, just have a look at our website at www.xitech.co.uk.